Hi there, my name is Vince from MyMateVince.com and in this video today I'm going to show you how you can connect up your Xbox One controllers to your Android TV box. Now this particular one here is a B-Link GT1 Ultimate. But the same process will be very similar for most other Android TV boxes. Now we're going to be connected up via Bluetooth so it's going to be working wirelessly. But not all Xbox One controllers will work, only the ones with Bluetooth. So the original Xbox One controller won't work and also the Elite controller won't work either. So how can you tell the difference? Well if you look closely, if you look at the original ones, the ones without Bluetooth, normally they have this in two parts here. So you can see that this is a different plastic, it's a different part to this one here. Well if you look at the Bluetooth ones, can you see that they're all one mould in there? So you can see that there's no join between them. So basically this one here is all one mould in, so this is going to work. And this one is also going to work. This one is not going to work and this one is not going to work. So we're going to be connecting up these two. Now this is useful if you want to play your Android games or if you've put emulators onto this and you want to use things like RetroArch. Right, okay, so let me connect them up and then I'm going to show you a bit of gameplay. Okay, so I've got my remote control for my Android TV box and I'm going to go down to this gear icon down here and then I'm going to press OK. I'm now going to go down to where it says remote and accessories, add accessory and you can see that's the Bluetooth symbol. Again, I'm just going to press OK. At the moment Bluetooth is turned off so we're going to have to turn it on. I'm just pressing OK. You can see now it's turned itself on. So it says the B-Link GT1 is visible to nearby devices while Bluetooth settings is open. So what we have to do now is we have to turn on the Xbox controllers and we're going to have to put them into pairing mode. So I'm going to hit this Xbox button up here and it will start to flash. The sync button is this little button up the top here so you need to hold this down for a couple of seconds until it starts flashing fast like that. Now if you have a look up on the screen you will see that in a few moments it should pick up this device. But it's still saying no nearby Bluetooth devices were found, so I'm just going to turn Bluetooth on and off again, or you can just refresh the page. For me, it's just easier to turn it on and off. So here we go, let's turn it off, and then back on again. And now this time, because this is still flashing here, it should pick it up this time. There we go, can you see now it's come up with Xbox wireless controller. So we're going to get our remote control and we're just going to move down to where it says Xbox wireless controller and just press OK. And now it says pairing and now in a little while it should connect. There we go, it is now connected and now we can actually use our Xbox controller to move the things on screen. So if I go back to home there you can see now that I'm now moving around the place. Right, let's pair up the other one using exactly the same process. So down to the gear icon, press that one, go down to add accessory on Bluetooth. And now I'm going to turn this one on and I'm going to hit the sync button. And again, it's come up with it there. You can see at the moment it's just got a series of numbers. That doesn't matter, that is still the Xbox controller. You can see there it just turned over to it. So I'm just going to move my other controller down, or again, you can use your remote control to move around the place. And then I'm going to hit A or OK on the remote control. And now it's going to pair this one. And you can see now that that one is paired. So I now have two Xbox controllers paired up. And if I hit Home, you can now see that this one is now moving around the place, so they will both work the menu. Right, let's show you a little bit of gameplay. Right, let's go to Riptide GP. And as you can see, there's very little lag on it. It feels exactly as it should do.
Right, now let's show you a little bit of old school games with RetroArch, the emulator. Right, now let's see if we can do two players. Okay, now if you have a look, you can see that the black controller is on the right-hand side and the white controller is on the left-hand side. So let me just do a little bit of a gameplay using the white one and then I'll show you the black one working. Right, so that's the white one. And now the black one. So this might be useful if you don't want to play your emulators on your PC and you already own an Xbox with a couple of controllers and then uh, you might want to play your emulated games onto the Android box instead which might be more fun for you. So there we go, give it a thumbs up if it's helped you out and please subscribe for more how-to videos. Take care, bye now.